as you sit down just clap your hands and say God did it God did it God did it God did it he's the reason for this smile he's the reason for this joy he's the reason you have no idea what I made it through you have no clue what I made it through but you're looking at an overcomer you're looking at a victorious person you look at somebody who endured the fire and came out as pure gold where all my people that been through the fire but you went through it never get stuck in the fire never get frustrated in the fire you prolong it when you get frustrated in the fire you prolong your time in it replace frustration with faith in the fire no frustration in the fire faith in the fire I still believe he can bring me out. I still believe he can make a way. I still believe his word is true, that all things work together for good. So if I'm in this, I gotta come out of this. Faith in the fire. Ask your neighbor, do you have faith? Even in the fire. Mm. Do not get frustrated when you're going through circumstances or situations or storms or problems. And I know you set your life up so that you don't have to go through things like that. So it's frustrating when life hits you, but you set it up so that you're protected from things like that. But when you're frustrated in the fire, that's a little sign of arrogance. How can I be going through this when I, I eat right? How am I sick? Frustration is, is from the branches of arrogance and pride. So don't get frustrated what you're going through. Many are the afflictions. I'm here for you this morning. I'm here just for you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, of those who are in right standings with God. Not many are the afflictions of sinners. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. So don't get frustrated in seasons of affliction. Embrace it because it's working patience. It's working something. He's working something in you. Your frustration in the fire will prolong your time in it because all that is is arrogance how can, how, how, how can you can, there's no room for frustration in the fire you're in the fire I will no longer be frustrated in the fire it makes no sense it makes no sense what do I need to learn in this moment Lord did I do anything to bring this on or did you allow this to happen so I can grow? That's the only, that's the only two options. So you're either mad at yourself <laughs> or you look for the lesson. There's no room for frustration. You prolong your time in storms. Children of Israel had an 11-day journey, but it took them 40 years. They complained every day. 365 days, 40 times, or 39 times, I don't know. They complained and were, at, it was just a, why are you bringing us this way? What do you, you're free, what do you mean? There's no room for frustration in the fire. Be sober, be humble, and seek the Lord. What do I need to do in this moment? Because the truth is, you're not angry, you're confused. But confusion to a prideful person is not, I, I, I gotta know what's, you know what I'm saying? So you replace it with anger. You put anger in front of your confusion, because confusion is too vulnerable of a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So be humble in your times of affliction. Be humble in your times of storm. Be quiet. Be silent. Be observant. Seek the Lord. This ain't the time to post on your... I can't believe... This ain't the time to post. It's quiet to my left. Let me go to my... Try to your left. Let me go to your right. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not the time to text people your frustrations. It's not the time to, to do that. Lord, what must I do? How did I get here? Is it me, or are you showing me something? Either way, I trust you. <laughs> Who trusts the Lord this morning? Let me hear you. 
That's beautiful. Oof, that was good. Mm, 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 mm. Scripture says that the race is not given to the swift. The first scripture that I'm going to go to says the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet is there bread. Is there any way to remove the... Thank you so much. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to the men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. I'm going to keep... This is going to be like a mantra here at Live. I know I've said it the last three weeks, uh, so you've heard it at least three times. If you're in Bible study, you heard it six times. And hopefully you will hear it six million times before you... Uh, before live doesn't exist anymore or whatever happens. Time and chance happeneth to them all. So, so it wasn't that he was the fastest that he won the race. It's what he did with his time and chance. It's not that he was so strong that he won the battle. But the strong man was responsible with his time and chances. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, bread, the, the wise person don't get bread because they're wise. They were responsible with their time and chance. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to break it down. The, 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 the men of understanding don't get rich, but they were responsible. They did the right thing. What are you doing with your time? Don't get mad at me because I'm rich. I'm not talking about, I mean, let me use another one. Not afford the luxury to be jealous or upset or envious of anybody for what they've done with their time and chance. Okay. Okay. You didn't have the same chance, but you had a chance. You didn't have the same time, but you had time. Be successful on your level with your time and chance. You cannot afford the luxury to sit back and be upset as if that should have happened for me. That's another prideful. How that happen? Okay. You have time and chance too. It happeneth. It continues to happen. If you missed it last week, you got another week. You got another time and you got another chance. I'm going to keep saying that. But we feel so sorry for people and I don't mind compassion. But I, I, I pity very few people, if anybody. I don't pity anybody. Bums on the street, people who, who life hit them hard, life hit me hard too. Not in the same way. But what did you do in that time? There are homeless people who will not go home because they don't like their family. So you have a chance, but you're mismanaging it. Oh, come on, y'all. There are shelters. The, I went to the one downtown. It's packed. Well, go to the one uptown. Because now you make the honorable citizens of Orlando, Florida responsible for your housing and food. I don't pity many people. You have time and chance. All right, thank you. Michael Jordan told Charles Barkley one time, they were out. He saw a homeless person. He was about to give him money. He said, hey, hey, if that person can say, can you give me a dollar? They can say, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Okay, I know y'all don't like that one. I was like, Michael Jordan, that is so true. I traded rude for true. We've mistaken love for enabling. Love is doing what's best for the person, not to. We do what the person wants because we love them. We love them. Give, give them some candy. Give them some, give, the child is already over sugared or whatever. True love don't give you what you want. Gives you what you need. If you're a business owner, you see a homeless person, give them a job. Don't give them money. Give them a time and chance 
to make it out of their circumstance because God continues to give everyone time and chance. When you woke up today, you had more time and another chance. That's the greatest gift you can have every morning. Receive that. Will you receive that this morning? As we go is what we're talking about all year. As we go for, for first-time visitors that are here. Who's first-time visitor? Can I see you, please? Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you guys. God bless you. Thanks for coming. We're talking about as we go this year, the ten men that were lepers cried out to Jesus, have mercy on us. He says, go show yourselves to the priest. The Bible says, as they went, they were healed. So this year, we're focusing on as we go. As we go, he's going to heal us. As we go, he's going to perfect us. As we go, he's going to fix us. As we go, he's going to align us. As we go, he's going to perfect all those things concerning us. Our only responsibility is to keep going. Don't stop because you don't feel like you're ready yet or you don't feel eligible yet. Keep going. And as you go, he'll make you eligible. Look at somebody and say, just keep going. So time and chance happens to us all. We're talking about knocking now. We're talking, this is the year to ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto you. That's what we're talking about. This is the year to ask, seek, and knock. Have you asked anybody this year yet for something you need? You have? Thank you, love. It looks weird. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Anything else? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you, love. Have you asked anybody for anything you need this year? Or did you, wait, my, my check coming to 15. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. We suffer rather than ask. Do you know your life could be much easier if you just ask? You can have less internal uh, stress or little, you know, all of that. Stuff that goes on internally because you bottle in your whole life. When you can just ask from advice to finances to a ride. I don't know what it is. Ask, seek diligently and knock. Knock on the door of opportunity. That's where we're at today. Time and chance happening to us all. When you knock, I know I say it every week, but y'all going to hear this. Where you say, amen, pastor, that's all right. I don't care if we heard it before. That's, all, that's where you say that, church. I, got, I know it's a new church. We're two years old. Easter, we're only two. So I'm still teaching them how to talk. We're a baby. I know y'all heard this before, but. Oh, oh, okay, y'all. So, oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Such a gracious church. <laughs> when you knock, I always say, knock, knock. Who's there? So doors open, opportunities open to people who know who they are. Ask your neighbor, do you know who you are? Mm, mm, mm. You need to know who you are outside of life's experiences. Did you hear what I said? Because we become things after things happen to us. Y'all remember Ruth and Naomi and Orpah? Right, so Naomi, her, her husband died, she's endured the family, both her sons died. She came back like, call me Mara, I'm not Naomi no more. When she came back home, she changed her name to Bitter. Mara means bitter. So she became what her life's experiences took her through. Don't become the pain you endure. Because the, the victory is you endured it, she made it. But we redefine ourselves based on life's experiences. Oh, that ain't never happened again, so I'm going to be a little tougher next time. Now, some things are protective and wise. But I'm saying, don't change who you are because life hits you. Who are you outside of life's experiences? I saw this uh, illustration. I would like to use it. $20 bill. Who would like this $20 bill? Okay, it's too many people. I only got one twenty today. <laughs> Young person, young person, young person, young person, young person, young person, young person. Not that, but by age, not by nature. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you come on. Come on. Yeah, you raise your hand. This is my girl right here. Come on up here. Okay. You say you want this 20? Yes. You sure you want it? Yes. All right. What if I bend it like this? You still want it? I'm going to bend it like this again. You want to? Yeah. 
I'm a, I'm a. Mm. You still want it? Yeah. Girl, I'm gonna throw this thing. You still want that? Yeah. Girl, all right, so you. You still want it? Because it never lost its value. You got it. Go ahead. You've been beaten. You've been bruised. You've been twisted. You've been thrown down time after time. But you still got value. Look at you. Oh, God, I feel like running all over this place. Just because you took a hit don't mean you lost value. You're still amazing. You're still fearfully and wonderfully made. You still got you still got a thought y'all not excited this morning tell somebody I never lost value I know who I am I'm a 20 crumbled I'm a 20 stepped on I'm a 20 thrown around tell somebody I'm still a honey throw me down if you want it don't change who I am stump on my name if you want it don't change who I am Lie on me if you need to. I'm still a honey. They still want me. They still want me. They still want me. Y'all not, okay. It's the Oregon. No matter what you've been through in life, you never lost value. Somebody say, I'm still his. I still got favor. I still have authority. I still have power. Y'all sit down. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. Some of y'all been stumped on. And you view yourself as the one who was stumped on. Some of y'all have been crumbled. And you view yourself as the one who's been crumbled. Never view yourself as what you've been through. View yourself as who you are. Yes, you were crumbled, but you were a 20 crumble. Yes, you were stepped on, but you were a hundred. I'm screaming too much. And still a hundred. On my worst day. Oh, y'all quiet now. Hold on, or stop that organ joke, because you. I need y'all to put a little swag on and say, I'm still a hundred. After all I've been through. I don't look like it, but throw me on the counter. See what happened when you put me in my purpose. I don't look like much, but see what happened when you put me on the counter. See what happened when you go to cash out. I'm still. Tell your neighbor, I didn't lose nothing. If I gave you a wrinkled Chanel sweatshirt, you will take that thing, put it in your trunk, drive home, earn that thing, put it on, and go stunting on them. Because it don't matter the condition. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Your condition is irrelevant. <laughs> it don't matter what condition you are. You're so valuable, they'll take you in any condition. Still a honey. Say it one more time, I'm still a honey. I was going to bring a hundred, but I couldn't find one this morning, so 20 suffice. <laughs> Y'all don't mind them, they've been through some things. I know their testimony, and they're happy because they still a hundred. You should be just as excited as them, because people threw your name down. People tried to drag you through the mud. People try to stump on you too you've been stumped on by things you've been crumbled by things don't become the crumbled you are not the crumbled you're still a honey so the enemy I'm just getting started sit down please <laughs> Woo, I knew I should have did that demonstration later because that feels so good right there everybody who's been crumbled scream I'm still a hundred scream 
I lost things, but I didn't lose joy. I lost things, but I didn't lose peace. I, lo I lost things, but I didn't lose his spirit. He's still with me. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So if I still got him, I got everything I need. Tell your neighbor, I got everything I need to start over again. All right, y'all, he he's going to run. Don't mind him. Visitors, don't mind him. He'll sit down in a minute because you don't know what he's been through. See, y'all can't judge people's praise expression because you have no idea what they endured. All right. So the enemy, so the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, we look at Eve and we look at Jesus. Eve in the garden. Is he dancing back there? Oh, Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Eve. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all about 60 seconds. Everybody that's been trampled, everybody that's been stumped on, everybody that's been crumbled, everybody that has been thrown down, I need you to jump to your feet and celebrate the fact that you never lost, never lost, never lost value, never lost power, never lost favor. Yeah! Make some noise because you're still... I said 60 seconds, that was 30. The last 30, give me a little beat. Last 30, last 30, last 30, last 30. Let's celebrate a little bit. I've been thrown down, but I never lost value. Crumbled up, but I never lost value. Stumped on, but I still. I love this right here. I love it. I'm sorry. I promise I'm going to keep teaching. But right now, praise Him. Oh. Right there, right there. After all, you say, after all that I have been through, you say, good God Almighty. You're still here. You never lost value. Still got your strength. Still got your joy. Still got your praise. Still got your dance. After all. All right. After all. Share. Come 
the visitors gonna think I don't preach because y'all the visitors are gonna think I never preach because y'all acting how after I throw this down but I can still use it because being thrown down doesn't erase its purpose I can still wipe my brow with it even though it was thrown down I can still wash with it because thrown down doesn't make you lose your purpose so get up live I'm going to say it again get up Yes, you've been thrown down, but you still have your purpose. I can't use you down there, though. I want to wipe my face. I know you've been thrown down, and people might say, ill, you dirty, you nasty, but I still need you. I still can use you. I just can't use you down there. So, Liv, I need you to... Somebody look at your neighbor and say, get up, get up, get up, get up. You ain't got to stand up in your seat, but I'm just saying, get up, get up, get up, get up. Stop crying. Stop complaining. Stop being depressed. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop throwing yourself a pity party. Get up. He still wants to use you. Get up. You still got purpose. Get up. The enemy, the enemy attacks 
identity. Eve in the garden. You could be like God if you. You could be just like God if you. Because she wasn't sure of who she was. Knock, knock, who's there? I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. You got to know who you are. Because Eve did not know who she was. Well, she knew, but she, she wasn't sure. She wasn't solid. I don't know what happened. She was de deceived. She said, I could be like God. Her identity caused her to introduce sin to the whole world. Well, actually, Adam. Jesus in the wilderness. If thou be the son of God. <laughs> identity. The enemy does not attack your work. He attacks your worth. You understand what I'm saying? He's coming against my job. My career can't get off the ground. I can't get it together. My marriage is under the devil's attack. He's not after those things. He attacks those things in hopes that you forget. He's attacking your identity, not your stuff. Job is a perfect man. Yeah, but you won't let me touch him. Oh, well, I'll take the hedge down. Just don't take his life. The enemy took all Job's money. All, he did, the enemy didn't want Job's money. He wanted who he was. The enemy, if you see him attacking things, he's after you. He doesn't want your job. He doesn't need your business. He doesn't need your marriage. He needs your marriage destroyed. So you will be destroyed. If you see the enemy on every side just attacking your job, your business, your kids, your family, your, it's a clear sign he's after you. He doesn't attack things or he's not after your works. He's after your worth. So don't be aggressively trying to salvage the thing he's attacking. Your business, hey, we got to do more. We got to do more marketing. We got to do, you try to save the thing he's attacking. He's just trying to get you out of pocket. He's trying to get you off the wall. But y'all need to be like Nehemiah. I'm doing a great work. I'm not coming down to that level. He's attacking you. So work on you harder than you work on your business. Oh, this is, I wasn't even going here tonight. My notes is gone. Work on you more than you work on your marriage. Because if you are better, your marriage will entail, hopefully, it's get better. Your spouse will notice you making, uh, as you go, making strides towards better. And she or he should be inclined to do the same. It's not always like that. I understand that. So don't look at me with the twitch lip. I tried that already. If, try if it. Try it again. Time and chance happen. If Give him another chance. Give her another time. Do it again for her. God did it for you. Did you hear what I just said? Never find yourself too much saying, I did that. Tried that. Don't put your attempts past tense. I'm trying that now. I'm doing that now. For whatsoever you do with shall prosper. It's not about what you've done. It's about what you're doing. What do you continually do? That's what prospers. We went to counseling. I don't know why I'm talking about marriages so much, but just whatever, wherever you can put it at. Because the enemy attacks things close to you in hopes that you'll lose your identity, lose your faith, lose your commitment to God. He'll curse you to your face. He, ho he hopes you lose, you lose your connection to God. He hopes you lose your, co your co commitment to him. So don't run aggressively to try to salvage what he's attacking. You're eating healthier now because your body, you're eating better. You're, but that's still not your soul. Eat right and eat right. <laughs> eat the bread of life too. Feed your spirit, feed your soul too. We aggressively go after the things he's attacking. And once that's salvaged, there's another thing. But we don't know the whole thing revolves around us. You are the axis that your world spins on. You are the axis that your world spins on. So take care of you. And I don't mean the 
the woke sense today. You know, meditate, and I love meditation. That's, that's in the Bible, but in his word, in his law that we meditate. The question is, what are you meditating on? We'll talk about that in counterculture. <laughs> yeah, because the world is taking the elements and the principles of the Bible, but excluding God. So now we think we found true truth, <laughs> but they're taking the characteristics of God. Well, love people, just love everybody, and we should love, but God is. So the whole world is moving towards this self-help, self. The world, oh God, why am I talking about uh, uh, cross uh, counterculture right now? The whole, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to end it right here. But the whole world is moving, to, trying to move towards independence from God. They've been doing it since the Tower of Babel. We'll reach heaven on our own. Let's build a tower to the heavens. We can make it to heaven without Christ. We just build our towers. Let's build our beliefs. And we can still reach heaven without God's way. So meditate. Do people right. And all of these things are true and good. Buddha says that, wow, that's true. The Hindu people, that is so true. See, this is the truth right here. See, the church don't, and you so woke, you sleep. You don't realize you woke yourself into blindness. Don't be so woke that you're blind. It's about Jesus. I'm about to run around this church. The, the world does not readily embrace Christ because he is the doorway between sin and righteousness. So he stands there like, hey, what about your sins? And people don't want to deal with their own mess. Or they don't want to believe that who or what they are or become or their, their lifestyle is a sin. So if your God is telling me that doing X, Y, Z is a sin, psh, my arrogance lets me search for another God that will allow me to be me. Oh, this, this ain't even a message today. So you search for other ways to live good when God is, he's good. We're trying to find another way. It's like Halloween. I can dress like anybody I want, but not really be it. So I got all these characteristics of God, but haven't received Christ. Let's not be swayed. Let's not be moved. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. This is what we believe here at Live. This is what we believe, and we're not condemning. Watch this. <laughs> Whoa! We're not condemning anybody who believes anything different. The Bible says he that don't believe is condemned already. <laughs> We ain't got to, you still do that? You, do you know you're going to hell? You ain't got to condemn nobody. If they don't believe in this right here, this right here though, if they don't believe in this right here though, they condemned already. This is what we choose to believe. This is what we believe the truth is. So as you go today, as you leave today, as you go on the rest of your day today, Make Christ the center of your lives. Love, come stand with me, please, so we can get out of here. Y'all been crumbled. You've been thrown down. Some of us have been abused. Sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse. Man, psychological, there's so many <laughs> ways to be abused. Some of us have been so abused that we see ourselves now as the abused instead of a crumbled 20. Don't forget that 20. You can say crumble, but don't forget who you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm a crumbled powerhouse. Don't forget who you are. Some of us have been abused, and some of us have abused. 
And my wife said it a while ago. We was talking about being molested in the church. I said, some of y'all been molested. And I, I had people come up for prayer who've been molested. And she, we was driving home. She said, maybe some people in the church have molested. Both of us need Jesus. That's why we're here. Amen. I know y'all don't like that. It's like, yeah. yeah. If I can be included in the last book of life, so can they. So to the abused and the one who has abused, to the molested and the molester, to the one who's been raped, to the rapist, to the physical abuser and to the physically abused, to the emotional abuser and to the emotional, emotionally abused, we offer Christ. <laughs> Woo! I said we offer Christ. I know there's so many abused and abusers in here. Ain't enough room in these little rows for you to come up to the front. But if that's you, stand to your feet. We're praying today for you. If you've been abused in any way, or if you could have been one of the abusers, stand to your feet. Emotionally abused, physically abused, hurt, thrown down. That crumbled thing I was talking about. If you felt crumbled, if you felt thrown down, if you felt misused, if you felt overlooked, or not even felt, if you have been. I want to pray for you this morning. I see you. I see you. And if I don't, God does. And that's all that matters. Look at you all. You're woo. Did you hear the list I just said? And you're still standing. <laughs> that's the prayer answered right there. We already got the answer to what I'm about to pray. You're still standing. You're still here. You endured it. You're stronger than what you think. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Go ahead, son, sing, please. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end. From beginning to the end. Yeah. It will always be. It's always, it's always been you, Jesus, at the center. Jesus. I know you've been crumbled and thrown down, y'all. Jesus. You still have so much value. I want to say this to you. Jesus that's standing. At the center of you still have so much value. If you feel like you don't have value, it's because you don't, you don't have value down there. You, you have little use to me down there. But today I'm going to pray that you rise up. Rise up in purpose in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for everyone who had the boldness and the courage to stand and say, yes, I've been abused or I have abused. Either way, we're all, in the we're all in need of the same blood that washes away all sins. I pray in the name of Jesus that you restore, restore, restore the abused. Restore in the name of Jesus emotionally, restore mentally, restore spiritually. Make us whole again. We are not what people called us. We are not how they viewed us. We are not how they handled us. Restore our identity in you in the name of Jesus. We are not how people used us. People are not God. <laughs> Restore our identity. Restore our hope. We lost hope in people now. We lost trust. But we need hope and trust. Restore it. Give us wisdom. To never be abused in that way again. Give us discernment to watch out for those who seek to abuse us and misuse us again. May we never be manipulated into lower level living again. In the name of Jesus, I speak strength to our hearts, strength to our minds, courage to our souls. Healing, healing. Be healed, be healed. I speak healing, healing. Be healed, be healed. I speak healing, healing. Be healed, yeah. Be healed for I speak healing, healing. Everybody standing, be healed. I'm asking that you be healed. 
I speak. Oh yeah, everybody can stand. We're going home. Healing, be healed. Be healed. I speak. Healing, yeah. Healing, be healed. Yeah. And to everyone who has abused, who has manipulated, who's been the one throwing people's name through the mud, who's who did the damage. I speak healing to your heart in the name of Jesus. I speak love and security to you in the name of Jesus. May you be secure in who you are that you don't have to abuse others another day in your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak security to you and wholeness to you. May there be no lack in your life. I speak against pride and ego that causes us to misuse and manipulate people and use them for our own selfish desires. In the name of Jesus, receive humility, identity, and security. May you never abuse another person. May you never manipulate somebody else. May you never con somebody into your own desires. I speak healing to you. Maybe you've been abused because hurt people hurt people. But I put an end to the hurt today. I said, I put an end to the hurt today. Everybody say, it starts with me. It stops with you and it starts with you in the name of Jesus. I speak wholeness and healing to the whole church. If you can hear my voice, be healed. If you can hear my voice, be whole. If you can hear my voice, be restored, be revived, be renewed in the name of Jesus. If you receive that, clap your hands and say, I'm healed. Clap your hands and say, I'm healed, I'm healed. I receive it in the name. Yeah. It was a very spiritual day. The Bible says it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing when the word is spoken. The word I speak, I'm sorry. The word I speak are spirit and life. The flesh don't profit. So you ain't got to, ooh, I, it's spiritual. Something has happened in you today. Have you received something on the inside this morning? Yes. Clap your hands and say, I receive it. I receive it. Say it out your mouth. I receive it. Thank you. Power is in your tongue. Let your whole body vibrate reception. I receive it. Say it one more time. I receive it. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. So when you speak things, your whole body reverberates the confirmation of it. That's why I tell you to say a lot of things so you can have it on the inside of you. I receive healing. I receive wholeness. I receive restoration. I receive renewal. My spirit is revived. My mind is renewed. And my soul is restored. Thank you all for saying that. You done bless your own self. Now clap your hands. I said you done bless your own self. You can encourage yourself. You can speak over yourself. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I said, I feel the spirit of the Holy Ghost in here. So, Father, we thank you for your goodness. Be with us the rest of this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let us go home healed, restored, renewed, and revived. In Jesus' name, clap your hands and say amen.